Hey YouTube, it's your girl Queen Alchemy and I'm coming to you guys today to do a reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. This is going to be a reading for the month of December 2019. I'm the last month of the year, actually the last month of the decade, you guys. So um, I'm doing a reading for you guys. Um, if you're interested if you're interested in a reading, um, a personal reading, a spiritual coaching session, a tarot reading, or um, just a little bit, um, or if you're interested in a um, a candle, a healing candle, a protection candle, or a self love candle, um, the information on how to contact me for any of that is going to be down below in the description bar. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I'm going to be having a live um, vision board party in the middle of the month. And in the next few days, I'll be coming on to let you guys know what you need if you want to do this to participate in, um, you know, creating a vision board. Um, most of the things you already have in your house, nine times out of 10. But if you don't, you can purchase these things, the things that you don't have, you can purchase them from the um, from the dollar store or anything like that. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. Um, let me think. Is there anything else? I think that's about it. So like I said, this is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for December 2019. Take what you get from this message. Don't force it if it doesn't fit. Okay. Let's jump into it. Oh, I'm going to be snacking on some ice, you guys. I'm in love. All right, I'm addicted to 7-Eleven's ice. I felt that. My son is too. So, at the bottom of the deck, we have the judgment card. This is the overall energy. So, this speaks of something from the divine, like a judgment call, like a last kind of call type of energy, if that makes sense for you, Aquarius. For some of you guys, you feel this energy already had, you know, it was coming. It was already there. Um, some assistance, if you will, from the divine. OK. So we have the six of cups clarified by the hangman. So this is water energy. But this is also um, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But this is a reunion. Some of you guys are going to have a reunion. In the month of December with the Pisces. Okay. If that's not, if you're not going to have a reunion with a Pisces and there's not someone who is significant in your life because this person could be a soulmate, then this is you wanting a reunion with somebody, having memories, nostalgia with somebody who is a Pisces, or as you're having this, there's there's some um, nostalgia, these memories, wanting to connect with somebody from your past who could be a Gemini, right? You're not really taking a lot of action. So you're kind of going to like into this hangman energy where you're just taking, you know, just falling back, kind of falling in line of what, you know, falling in, trying to fall in line as to what the divine wants you to do, Okay spiritually like meditating going within getting a lot of insight about the situation with this person because like i said this person could be very near and dear and um very near and dear to you somebody you had a very close-knit um close-knit relationship close-knit connection with if that makes sense for you aquarius okay we have healthy communication and relationships, heart to heart discussions and clear assertive communications help you understand and be understood. So with this situation, if there is a coming around with somebody, it's going to be very important that you communicate with the person in a, in a healthy way. Maybe in the past um, you wasn't big on communication or you didn't know how to communicate with this person or just in general, like communication is something you need to work on. Right. Because there's an opportunity with this person to exchange some, some gifts, whether it's spiritual, whether it's emotional. It might be that you guys are pushed back into each other's lives to exchange some things that may propel you in the next stage of your life. 
So say like for some of you guys, you guys may be on a spiritual journey, a spiritual quest, a spiritual ascension, something spiritual. OK, Aquarius, for some of you guys, this is what it is. So this person is helping you on your journey. OK. This person is there to help you. Where's it go? Judgment. This could be the way of the universe putting this person in your life so they can take you to the next. So you can be catapulted, if that, I mean, you know, to the next step of your life, your next journey, right? Yeah, because for some of you guys, 27 is on the card, breaks down to a nine. There's going to be some ending in your life, an end, a ending of the way you used to do things. Maybe you used to do things from a very egotistical type of energy, Aquarius. But this person is going to give you a different type of insight, a different type of way of doing things, okay? They're going to help you on your journey, okay? So some of you guys, um, this is a Gemini, okay, Aquarius? If not, for some of you guys, it's a Gemini. And this is a, a twin flame type of energy, twin flame, soulmate. It doesn't have to be a Gemini. Could be have to do with a Capricorn. Or it can have some toxic elements to your connection, okay? So maybe for some of you guys, that's why you kind of like, With the hangman, it's like not really taking a lot of action with this person because it was it's been toxic in the past. Because you know it's been toxic, or it's been sex based. Okay, there could have been like a, a it could have been a very highly sexed energy. And for, okay, so for some of you guys with this old person, this was a very sex based relationship. There wasn't a lot of depth to it, right? So, but now it's the opportunity for because both of you guys are growing spiritually for to to kind of pulp to another energy to another um I don't want to say cycle but like to another energy like if that makes sense I can't I'm lost for words for some reason but like just to another you know stage um you know let me see Stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a mindset. So, yes, Aquarius, if some of you guys, or, you know, this, you know, depends on the storyline, but if some of you guys are like in this hangman position, like, okay, I'm just going to fall back, which is it's definitely um, important that you guys do that. But, like, if you have an, an energy of like apprehension, about this situation, stay strong in your faith because, like it says, the positive outcome is depending on you keeping a positive mindset. So, you know, like what I say in other videos before, like it's like you're the creator of your circumstances, okay? So, if you think negative, then negative will happen. If you think positive, then positive, you know, circumstances will happen. So, you got to make sure you think positive because I think this is saying for some of you guys. That this relationship, that this connection, that this soulmate union can be transmuted, but it's really about the way you think, Aquarius, okay? It's about the energy you put into it and your, you know, your effort, your, you know, your, um, the things that you value and, and you know what I'm saying as far as your spirituality. Because like I said, with the exchange and gifts, you guys are both having an impact on each other's lives, okay? And I believe I've seen at the bottom of this deck, it says yang. So, you know, yin and yang, I feel like, you know, you know, it's that energy of being able to influence each other in a very positive way. But you have to stay strong in your faith. Both parties do. If you, if this is something that 
you really want to take off in a new direction and you really want a new spin on it, you want it to work, you want the positivity, you want the healing, you want all of that, then it's really dependent on how you think, okay? After that, we have higher power and never in a story. So, you know, this is a, um, a relationship ordained by the universe, okay? With higher power. Excuse me. What's this? Yeah, this is a relationship that is um, ordained by the universe. And like I was saying, like you guys are in each other's lives, brought back into each other's lives. For the most part of this story is resonate with you, Aquarius, because there's things that you need to learn. There's things that, you know, you need from this person. Now, it's depending on the situation. It might not be for everybody. It could just for some of you guys, for most of you guys. It can just be that this person is part of your spiritual path and there for you to learn um, on your journey or whatever. But for some of you guys, this is an opportunity for you guys to transmute your relationship, transmute your union, okay? Because this is ordained with higher power because this is something that's probably never going to go away for you guys. This is like, a, for some of you Aquarius, this is like a relationship you know, it's like you guys are going to be a part of each other's lives when you become elderly. You know what I'm saying? When you're like senior citizens and you guys are always going to just, you know how some couples, they may go through hell and high water and just go through so much, but they'll still always have that connection, that very loving, intense, very strong connection. And that's for some of you guys, okay? Some of you guys may also feel so uh, for some, for some, you could take it how it goes for you. But for some of you guys, it's also like kind of feeling stuck. That's the energy I get from looking at her. And then with the number 37 breaking down to a 10 about completions, it's kind of just feeling like, okay, for some of you guys, this relationship, this connection, whatever needs to end and complete. But, you know, I feel like it's just such a strong connection and you might be feeling stuck in this Aquarius for some of you guys, okay? And then we have another 10. Some of you guys, this person could have caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartache, okay? But the way you see how this person is just kind of like almost looking dead, laying there with these swords, all these swords in their back. Or this is how you guys are feeling because you might feel for some of you guys depending on the story, um, depending on the person, rather, you this situation might come to a complete end with the Two of Cups clarifying it. So if there was a union, if there was a chance for a union, if there was like a coming together, you guys were together, there might be in December 2019, there might just be a completion of this, okay? And this might, this could have to do with the universe, the universe feeling like You've learned your lessons. You went through the things you needed to go through with this person. This person has taught you. You have taught this person. And now it's time to go on to the next stage of your lives. So that's what this might be for this. Okay. So it might be a completion of you guys having this union, this, you know, this companionship. Okay. And for some of you guys, this is necessary because some of you guys need to purify and detoxify. It's time to release physical and energetic toxins from your life. So for some of you guys, Aquarius, this is just like I said with the uh, the devil card. This could be a very toxic situation. Uh, maybe a lot of back and forth, you know, um, uncertainty, just negativity, arguments, that type of energy. It depends on who, you know, who it is. So for the month of December, it's going to be very important that you toxify, detoxify and uh, purify Okay. Yeah. Okay. So for some of you guys, Aquarius, this is also needing to do a physical like cleanse or detoxification. Okay. And some of you guys may want to consider just, um, you know, living a healthier lifestyle. And, you know, even if you don't want to go full fledged and go extreme, as far as, you know, you know, the vegan lifestyle, plant-based or anything like that. 
but just making healthier choices. Maybe maybe instead of drinking soda, decide to drink water. Maybe start drinking a little. I mean, eating a little bit more vegetables and fruit. Just implementing healthier choices into your um, your diet. Okay. So with the orphan card being the last card, I feel like for some of you guys, because of this completion, because of this just call from the universe to end this situation with this love, it's going to make you feel like you're orphaned, like you're abandoned, like you don't have anybody. Maybe you, you know, put everything into this person. You love them. You cherish them. You, you know, they inspired you to grow, heal, you know, just become a much better person. And now that you're in this energy of just feeling like abandoned, like, oh my God, what am I going to do? Like this person was everything to me, but this is letting you, but I'm letting you know that you're going to be okay. Okay. You don't have anything to worry about. You know, for every ending, there's a more beautiful beginning. So that person served their, their purpose in your life. And now it's time to move on to the next stage in your life and to experience what you need to experience in your spiritual journey. Okay. All right, Aquarius. So that's the end of your reading. I love you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it resonated. If you're interested, like I said, in a personal reading, my information will be down below in the, in the description bar. Love you guys. Peace.